The views and opinions expressed in this podcast by the host and or the guest do not necessarily reflect the views of the host and or Paranormal Buzz Radio and or its sponsors. Use of any material produced by Paranormal Buzz Radio without express written consent is prohibited. Paranormal Buzz Radio will not be held responsible for you holding your knees, crying, and rocking in a corner in a puddle of your own urine, or being beheaded by a group of children in a cornfield. In fact, if you come across a group of children in a cornfield, we promise to make fun of you as you run away screaming in terror. Listener discretion is advised. Caution. You are now entering the all-consuming realm of Shay's paranormal chat, where the things that are better left unsaid are actually said. Shut up and sit down. You're listening to Shay's paranormal chat. Paranormal podcasting done Shay's way. Tons of fun. Dude, seriously? A bit sarcastic. Hashtag investigator, not hunter. But always real. Hashtag data, not evidence. Don't get your panties in a twist. Oh my god, really? This is real, raw conversation. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. Good evening, everybody. TGIF. Um, Thank you for joining us tonight. I have the awesome, the lovely, the she who spins the moon, the one, the only, (laughs) Kelly McCarville. Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. You like that? Yeah. You're been, crazy. I've been working on that for a whole 10 seconds. I like it. I yeah. like it. Yeah. Um, I see we're both already having internet problems. Yeah, well, you know. You know. So what if, we do. If we disappear, it's been a great ride. Thanks, everybody, for joining we us. Have fun. <laughs> it was fun. It was a blast. I don't even so know much. if that was yours or mine, but... One of us, did, I think it was you because you automatically called back. Oh, I didn't know it even did anything. Oh, yeah, you went away and it did the Skype noise and oh, then awesome. boom, you were there. That's why I said okay and gave you the thumbs up like, I see you. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Who knew? So, uh, if you didn't notice, it was probably mine then. Um, uh, everybody and their brother now has cable and they're all on it, so... For the first Amen time. Amen to that. Oh, they yeah. should. I don't mean it that way, but for the first time ever, I'm actually having internet problems for the past three weeks. Yeah. So it's been it's been interesting. Oh, that's putting it lightly. <laughs> so I'm gonna give a few shout outs here. We have Darren in the house. We have Kelly. We have Mama Deb. Hey Ma. Do you miss me yet, Ma? Um <laughs> <laughs> Um, we have Matt, of course, in the house. We have Mama Pat in the house. Mommy! Yes, the two best mamas in the world. That's right. There we go. So, um, oh, oh, she didn't have sound. Now she does have sound. Who didn't? What? what, Huh? Mama Pat. She didn't have sound. Now she does. So, oh, I didn't notice. Was your volume turned down? (laughs) <laughs> no, sometimes you have to go out and come back in. Hi, Darren. I have to pick on her because she's my mommy. I know. It's not what we do. That's what we do best. Uh, yep, yeah, pretty much. Pretty <clears throat> much. So, where were you last Friday? Last Friday. So, we don't. We're not getting out of the house much, and I may or right. may not have been going just a little bit stir crazy. And so, see. I know these people. <laughs> so she, I reached knows, out. she knows people. Uh, well, I'm like, I know we can't just go anywhere and I don't want to go into a place like I know a lot of people have been and things like that. So right. I uh, reached out to Sarah and Dane, the owners of Renwick Mansion in Davenport. 
and I just said, hey, what would you think? And they said, sure, it's been closed up for a month, you know. Um, so they let us go into Renwick Mansion. And I hadn't been there in forever. So it was super fun. We went down Friday night and um, Mom, Pat, and Madeline went with us. And then Saturday night, it was just me and Chris. And we did some filming for a documentary that we're going to be putting together. Nice. Right? We're kind of excited. I I would be too. Yeah, we we have discovered that Chris is way better at doing like the monologue for the history and stuff than I am. He's just like, yeah, so you know, it's this and this and this, and I'm like, William Renwick was born on June twenty fourth. You know, <laughs> it, it's horrible. It's horrible. I can't do it. <laughs> You guys did get the video part of that, too. but <laughs> That was the best part. Oh, you look like Mr. Egg talking. Like, it didn't it is... even, it didn't, the voice didn't even look like it was coming out of your lips. <laughs> but it, but it's true, because I watch it back on the video. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's horrible. It's It was horrible. <laughs> so... <laughs> but, yeah. You know, and, and uh, I have to do... Chris says, I... shut up, you did just fine. Yeah, he's biased. He doesn't get an opinion in this. Do I? So, well, do I get an opinion? I'm biased. After, after it comes out, you're biased too. But and to be fair, so the very first one we recorded was actually talking about um, the family and when they came over. So I think part of it too was like I was trying to remember a bunch of dates. Yeah, that's you know. Great. Um, so like he was born June 24th in 1829 and he came to the United States in 1849 and he started his Phillips mill in 1854. And I'm like trying to keep all these dates straight in my mind. And I can't say William Renwick without like putting this pause between the two names. It's like, you mean like how you used to make fun of me for saying my name? What's your name? What's your name? Sherry Ann Carroll. No, you can't do it like that. It takes all the fun out of it. See? Say, say, say his name again, huh? If I do it fast, it's William Renwick. Yeah, see? That's, Renwick. that's, that's Renwick. how it goes in my name. Now William you get it. Renwick. So I have to be like really William Renwick. Yeah, see? But then it sounds very robotic. <laughs> so, but then, you know, so we did my first little one, which was horrible. And then we go to Chris's and he's like, you know, laid back and chill. And it's just rolling off his tongue. He gets it in his first try. It's like, I hate you. I mean, I love you, but I hate you. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, well. It, it turned, I mean, some of the other ones went better, but. We all have but, a role to play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just got to admit when you're not good at something or you don't feel comfortable, that's what you, you got to admit it. Otherwise. Yeah. But you're, <laughs> you are harder on yourself than anybody else around you is. So. Yeah. Well, it'll be fine. It'll turn out good. Um, so do we yeah. get any sneak peeks at or listens at what happened? Anything good? Oh man. I don't know. Um, but you love me, but you love me. I do, but, but did, so st- we, all right, did stuff happen? Well, we did some lives while we were there, so we did. I know that. I'm it. pretending. Yeah. I saw, I saw <laughs> one. I saw, saw one and I saw, um, another one, but I didn't watch the other one. Yeah. So. so Friday night, we actually did a pretty long live, um, when mama and Madeline were there. Um, that one turned out to be almost two hours. That's I think. the one I saw with Madeline. Yeah. Was there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, but then Saturday night we knew we were filming for the documentary or the video, whatever you want to call it. Chris and I disagree on what it's called. Um, but, uh, so we didn't want to share everything we were doing, but we did our isolations and we shared that. Um, and that was the other one I saw. Yep. Yeah. So got a new toy. I got uh, this tool called Phasma Box, and I think I kind of like it. It doesn't have nearly as much of the background noise. The white noise or the... Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have all the random... Yeah, that's what I... ...that come out of it. So it's... And we've gotten some pretty... I mean, we've only used it since last weekend, but since then we've been at Renwick, so we used it twice both nights at Renwick and then actually 
Tuesday night, we went out to Edinburgh Manor with the Creels. And um, so we used it out there a little bit too. And you get some really clear sentences that come out of it. So where did um, you get this? You buy it. Um, the downside of it is you can't get it on a phone. It has to be on a tablet or a computer. I was going to say, is it an app? Is it? Yeah, that's what. Yeah, I yep, yeah. Um, so it's a little bit more expensive than like the Spiritus is. I think it was twenty dollars. But um, going to try it out and see yeah. see what I think. And you know, I'll do my normal comparison of what are the spirits telling me versus what's coming through the box, and okay. does it make sense? And um, I thought so. Oops, sorry. I was, oh, talking so Matt's, to, I was talking to Matt. I, that's why I was asking. I thought that's what he was, used at the cabin on 360. Yep, I was just going to say, Matt just said yep. that. So I said yeah, it out loud. I, but <laughs> um, We like it so far, I think. Um, we'll just have to see how it works. The, the hardest part of that is it's on my computer, so I have to carry my computer around with us. And it doesn't No, fall. you have a boyfriend. It's, well, so you don't have to carry anything. <laughs> he carries everything else. Well, so. then he can make a second trip. <laughs> I'll let him know you said so. He He's listening. He chimed in there in the chat, so I'm sure he's listening still. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so Renwick is, for anybody who doesn't know what Renwick is, um, Mama Pat just said it's a beautiful mansion. It is. Um, it is this uh, absolutely stunning limestone mansion that's at the top of a hill overlooking overlooking the Mississippi River. It's technically five stories. So it's a basement, three floors, and a tower. Um, the ceilings are, I don't know, 16, 20-foot ceilings, all hardwood. It's just, it's phenomenal. It is so, so pretty. Um, and, yeah, it's not one of like the most active places, but they have their resident spirits that are there. Right. And, um, so yeah, we always get a little something while we're there and it's a gorgeous place to stay. And we had fun. We had a good time. Um, Darren wants to know where, where, when you finally get the documentary done, where will he be able to find it? He said, can he find it on Amazon prime? Um, we're not obviously 100% sure on that yet. Um, I guess, I think the theory right now is probably just that we'll get it created and put it out on YouTube. Yeah. Um, but we don't know for sure. Right. Yeah. I mean, obviously there's different areas I know to go, but we may just throw it out there to get feedback before we start trying to see if we can't get it out someplace bigger. Yeah. Say, Hey. If anybody guys, if anybody can do it, you guys can. And and Mr. Nielsen is still in the chat, just to yes, he. Up, so you can hear me. <laughs> so, <coughs> um, yeah. How many times have you been to this mansion? So Renwick. Um. So so here's a funny story. So I actually um was looking for a place to host a public investigation in the Quad Cities, and so I just started kind of looking around. And somehow I stumbled across this gorgeous mansion and I thought it, it's not, it wasn't known to be a haunted location. I couldn't find anything about paranormal investigations there. It just was this big old historic building. And I thought, what the hell, the worst they can do is say no. So um, I reached out to the owners and I said, Hey, this is what we want to do. And um would you consider it? And they said, well, we'd like to sit down and talk with you more about it. And I'm like, sure. You know, so I go in and I sit down and I introduce myself and um, find out that I can't remember what she does, but he is, he's either a scientist or a science teacher or he's something science. And I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> you know, cause here I'm about to pitch him a paranormal, you know, and I'm yeah. like, oh, I'm so screwed. Um, but he was completely on board with it. He was excited and they had only owned the mansion for about six months at the time. They had just bought it. Um, and they bought it to be like a wedding venue. And honestly, that is what it is most of the time because um, it's gorgeous. And they they have, um, you know, like weddings and anniversary parties and bachelor uh, wedding showers and all sorts of stuff there. But um, 
they were willing to open it up to me to paranormal for paranormal investigation. So I've probably been there. I've done probably, I don't know, eight events there and then, um, investigated it just like with individual groups three or four times, I'd say. And I've actually spent the night there by myself a couple times. Wow. I want to say, like, oh, completely I, and totally alone in this great big mansion. I said, wow, well, like, I didn't know, but I, I heard yeah. one of the stories. So. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and it's funny because it's never like, oh, my God, I'm so uncomfortable. I have to leave. But there are times you're walking around those big old floors all by yourself. And it's kind of like, um, this isn't the most comfortable because I'm not all by myself. And I, I remind myself, you slept here by yourself, you idiot. You're fine. You're fine. So, yeah. Um, Darren has a question. And I'm skipping my question asking his because um, okay. I've also investigated mansions and asylums. So, so I like his question and I see where it's coming from. Um, are mansions more challenging versus insane asylums? To investigate, I'm assuming that's how I took it. Um, I mean, it depends on what aspect you you are going at it from. So size wise and cleanliness, a mansion is far more manageable. You know, um, this by no means is a small building. It's still, it's, it's a yeah. big man. It's a mansion, but it's not the size of like Edinburgh or Penhurst, you know, and it's clean and it's temperature controlled and there's running water and electricity and toilets and, um, so there, there's a whole lot of conveniences of investigating a mansion like that, um, that, that make it easier. But the opposite side of that is typically it's been a home. It's usually somebody's home or it's been used for smaller things, but not to the scale that like an insane asylum would. So, um, the mansion was built by the Renwicks. And then it actually sold to St. Catherine School for a while. And so it was used as like the administrative offices for the school. And then the whole school was sold to a nursing home. So I think they probably still used it at the admin offices. Um, but then it went back to being like a family home event center. So right. they haven't had a ton of people live there. The Renwicks pretty much are the only people who have ever lived there. And they only lived there until the 1900s. So from 1840, uh, 18, when did he finish building it? I should know this. 1877, I think he finished building it. And they were out of there by the 1900s. By 1900, his wife moved to California. So um, that's really the only time people lived there. So that's going to limit the number of spirits potentially that are there. So when you look at, then turn and look at like an, an, uh, an insane asylum, it's huge, so it's harder to cover the whole thing. It could be dirty. It could not have electricity. It could not have running water. It could not have toilets. It could be um, just not as convenient, but heated, cooling, those, that sort of stuff. Some of those are inconvenient, but also better for investigations. It can be. Yeah, it, can. it absolutely can be. Um, but you're also going to have more people who have passed through those doors and more people, more spirits potentially yep. who are there. So you're, you're going to maybe get more action out of a, a location like an asylum, not only because of the number of people that have been in and out the doors, but because of the mental state of how of they the were people. when they were there. Yeah, because, again, to go back to the Renwick family, you're looking at William Sr., William Jr., Wild Bill, um, their wives, and I don't know that the littlest William even lived there. He never did live there. I don't know if he even visited it. So they're the only ones who really lived there. Yeah, but there's the land. Yeah, there is the land, and there is stuff that goes on outside in the land. Chris would be able to talk about that better than me. Um, and and there's like there's house staff, so there's there's definitely um one of the house staff that's still there and communicates with people, but um there's just not as many spirits that are there as like you're probably going to find in an insane asylum or tuberculosis hospital or something like that. 
I think whether there's one room or 50 rooms, you treat it, you break it down. You, you oh, know, absolutely. You treat it. Absolutely. Um, I'm not, he hasn't said anything. I don't know if we quite answered his question, but I think it doesn't matter the size. You break it down into, um, as long as you know who's in the building, if there's nobody else in the building, you break it down into sections and you cover mm -hmm. what you can. Yep. And obviously, you know my opinion, you do it over and over again. Yep. Yep. So. Yeah, and it's it's completely, you know, that is one of the nice things about this mansion is because it is somewhat controlled, it's it's up at the top of the hill, so there's not like there's even neighbors that are close to you, so right. you don't get a lot of contamination, and we have complete control of the building, so we lock the door, so we know nobody else is coming or going, we're the only ones in the building, so yeah, I mean, yep, it's, it's definitely easier that way, but. Uh, Darren said we answered, I want to... Um, throw a hello. Nick Pashota is in the Nick. house. Hey, Nick. Nick. Nick and Sue are so great. I love them, too. They're kind of awesome. Um, and Stephanie also joined us, so I want to give shout-outs to them. Yay. Yay. Um, so, when you, like, now that... Thank you for sharing, Nick. Um, now that you and Chris are teaming up and tackling these things together, do you, is your approach different? Because you're a psychic medium. He's a little bit more technology, some degree. But So are yeah. you guys going to approach things different? I know we talked about it a little bit when you guys were both on the show, but how yeah. did that work out? I mean, obviously we'll approach it different than if either one of us are going in by ourselves. Right. But We've spent so much time investigating together over the last year that uh, we pretty much, I think that's the reason we decided to actually make it official and become a team is because we we just work really, really well together. Yeah. Um, by no means am I going to say that I'm the, the equipment genius like he is. He can get stuff. Oh, my God, he found my Penhurst files. <laughs> Sorry. Speaking of equipment genius, he, we were downloading stuff from Ren, from Renwick last weekend, and he had my recorder. And all of a sudden, I hear him play this thing that says it's blah 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 date, and I'm at Penhurst, and I'm like, wait, what? What? What did that just say? He's like, yeah, I found it all. It's like, oh my god, my hero! I know, I'm so excited. So, I'm excited. Yes. Anyways, uh, I was saying something. I forget. You got so excited. Oh, you were working together. That's why you made it official. Oh. <laughs> um, You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we approach things well. He's the one who makes sure that I don't forget to put the equipment out. And, um, you know, he he's really good about making sure that we have things covered. And, and he makes sure it's his pictures. Yeah, and make sure that I don't forget to, that I don't forget to approach it from – the technical side yeah. of it because I do, I get distracted, you know, um, I get it, but yet he's not just, he's not really just the technical side of things no, too, he, because he's, he's been, yeah. yeah, he's been practicing and, and reading up and training to be a shaman. So, um, he, we, we kid, you know, that we're two halves of a whole psychic because I hear things and I know things and he sees things and he feels things, you know, so yeah. put us all together. Boom. We're whole. Um, we just, we work well together and we've had really, really, really good um, responses. You know, the places that we go into the, when we, for example, when we try to do the Estes method, we get phenomenal results, and I think it's just the oh. combination of our energies together. That, that was another question that in works here. so well. I forgot you said it, and I just remembered. I think it was Darren asked how the Estes method uh, method went last weekend. Uh, we actually didn't get a chance to do that while we were there. We kept saying that we were going to, and we tried. We we started trying to do it once, but for whatever reason, um, the the Bluetooth. Uh, headphones that we were using wouldn't play through the app playing on my computer wouldn't uh, play through his Bluetooth headphones. So we couldn't get it to work. Uh, um, so we're going to have to play with that more to figure out how to get the Phasma box to, to work with the headphones. So maybe um, plug in headphones. 
Yeah, I think that's probably what we're going to have to do or figure out what settings makes it play through the... You can tell how technical I am because that's my first yeah. answer. I'm like, switch headphones. like. And, and we would have, except we didn't have any have, with us. I, that's what I figured. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, we didn't have any plugins with us. So, um, Because it does work if you plug it in, it'll play through that then. So uh, well, we're definitely excited to try it. But by the time we got to it, we were tired. So yeah, we, we didn't happens. do Estes for that. Well, we've done it, um, <coughs> well, like when Chris had his uh, Spook Cave tours, we did the Estes Method, yeah. and it worked really well there, and like Cambry, I have to say Cambry, when we were there with Mama Pat and Stephanie, um, and Chris and Rebecca, uh, well, I guess Rebecca wasn't there when we were actually doing it, she was online, um, but that was probably one of the best sessions that we've ever had. The answers were just so, so in line with the questions that were being asked and uh, not just onesie twosie here and there. It was over and over and over. Yeah. The, it kept getting the right answers. It was, it was super cool. We've had a few. Um, Darren says he saw that. Yeah. Hi, J. Ron. J. Ron has joined us. Um, we've had a couple of Estes method, uh, methods or we call them blind spare box because we don't do them quite the same and, Sometimes we change them up, but we're kind of talking about the same thing. We've yeah, got some yeah. pretty good, um, pretty good results with it. Like uh, cabin three hundred and sixty, we had we got some pretty good that Matt was talking about earlier. We got mm-hmm. quite a few things that shouldn't have come through, and then yeah, you know, um, the the one that I can't talk about. Um, of, oh yeah. Yeah, Where, you know that I yeah. I always say I can't talk about it. Then I always do talk about it. Do you like that? Well, you know it's hard. It's 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 different when it's something that's what you want to share and what you don't feel comfortable sharing. So you know we always everybody gets that choice. So. Yes. Well, it, um, it's also at the it, it's at the same location where. Um, uh, I asked where I was conceived instead of telling me the town and state. It told me the piece of furniture. So, <laughs> excellent. Yes. <laughs> Clear as day. I will never share it, and I I've shared it with a few people, but I will never publicly share it um, for obvious reasons. Um, <laughs> oh come on! Because it was Mama Deb doesn't mind. Mama Deb doesn't, but there was also some very other personal things said in there. Um, <laughs> So, but, so. Oh, that's the best. It is. Yeah, it, like, it still blows my mind, but. um, What are you doing to stay sane these days? I'm not. I know. I mean, right? you know, it, it's, honestly, my, my weeks are not horribly different than they used to be because I'm still working. Um. So I'm working from home, but I'm still working 45 plus hours a week. So, um, that, that, that pretty yeah, much Yeah, but that's a challenge in itself from home. Like everything yeah. in the same spot, it makes it a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's interesting being home this much and it's hard not to get to want to get distracted. You know, it's, it's far more work to make myself stay focused on the, on my work because it's like, well, I could just watch a show or I could, you know, go do the dishes or, you know, I mean, it's just, that's, that's probably my hardest, but I don't know where, um, I, so I work all day and then at night, um, you know, I try to get out with mom once or twice a week and we'll go for a ride or go someplace. And, um, Chris and I are trying to get out of the house usually one day a weekend and just go out and go hiking or something. And, um, trying to get the kids out on occasion to blow the stink off of them, but they're ornery about it. Right. Get them out of the house. What are you doing? You keep insane in your neck of the woods. I I am. I'm, I, I am busier than ever, (laughs) but (laughs) indoors busier. It's different. Um, but I'm very busy, so. Yeah, I knew that's what you were saying. And my daughter, daughter home. My daughter has been home for six weeks, I think. She I came home and break, and then they uh, 
then they didn't go back, obviously. her She has her last final on Monday, so... I was home. just going to ask, is she having to do classes from home? Oh, yeah. I know my kids are. Yeah. Yeah. So that's been interesting. As of a couple of weeks ago, I became a teacher as well. Oh, not um, me, because she, that's not she's in well. college. She's on her own. My kids I, are doomed. I helped her with one, and she got a worst. She got to take it twice. <laughs> so... Um. <laughs> that was where you email the teacher and say, I tried to help her. This is my fault. I'm sure she'll do better if she does it on her own. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, but but I think it was because like we answered the wrong questions differently the next time. Oh, because you okay. got to take it twice. That's the only reason why I helped her. It's a course I've never taken in my life. So um, well, I flat out told him because so my youngest is in some special ed classes. Yeah. And the teacher called just to talk to us ahead of time. And I told him, I said, you know, I can help with a lot of things. But if it's like science, he's screwed. Yeah. And if it's common core math, he's screwed. I will teach him math. He will get the right answer, but it won't be common core. Yep. Amen. That common core shit is stupid. It's. If my kids were in it's school. So stupid. And they taught them that, I would have homeschooled my kids again. Yeah. And that yeah, was just, me homeschooling the kids, which was just as stupid when they were little, too, let me tell you. But it makes better zero than common sense. core. It makes zero sense. Yeah, yeah, let's take eight extra steps. Right? <sighs> right? Uh, so, but thank goodness what he's had so far is not, so we're good. But, um, uh, so, yeah, keeping them on track, trying to help them with their computer issues. and um, Not Madeline so much. She's She's been awesome yeah. keeping up with her own stuff. But, yeah. Um, yeah, until Ian's done with school, I'll be working from home because I don't have a choice. So. Sure. When he's done with school, can you go back to work? Like, They haven't said yet um, when we can go back to work for sure. Um, they're starting to open our state. Okay. Um, which I personally don't know that I think we're ready for, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, I get it. I get it has to happen at some point, but. Um, hmm. I mean, I, we're doing a flex yeah. open and I feel the same. And I got death threats last week because I stated my opinion. On an open forum, and yeah, they, well, hope, and they I, hope I get COVID nineteen and die, and my whole family gets it and dies too. And you know what? Everybody is entitled to their own opinion, and everybody's right. situation is different. And I get exactly. that. For some people, staying home is amazing. For other people, staying home is not amazing. For people who have kids, maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. Everybody has their own situations, and everybody has their own health issues. That they have to take into account. The family members that they could potentially be putting at risk. And you make your choice for you. I'm going to have to make my choice for me. However, unfortunately, some of your choices will affect me. That's, and yeah, your, that's right, your, your rights end when they infringe upon mine. Right. Yeah. That's, and that's, that's, that's where I'm struggling because it's just kind of like, um, but, uh, hmm. If you're not careful, then we can get sick, too. So Yeah, that's the whole point. Yeah. But um, so our work has never 100% shut down because we're, we're government. Right. We do government work. Um, so we can't, we can't shut down completely. Um, the fab floor has been open the whole time. But they've got rules in place now that you can't come in without masks on. You have to have your temperature. To, uh, it says it's voluntary, but I'm not 100% sure how voluntary it is. Um, but, you know, the, the benefit of a lot of what my company does is that a lot of people can work from home. And so they, they can and they should. Yeah. So. If you have the option, you should. Um, Nick says him and Sue are still working. Darren yeah. is still working. Yeah. Um, I know Stephanie's still working. She doesn't have a choice because yeah. she, she's a essential person worker. who takes care of other people. And, yeah, there's a lot that have to be out there. And you know what? I huge respect for the people who have to be out there doing this. You know, the nurses and the doctors. and it That's just, why I it worry about the most. Like turns my stomach yeah. to think of the risks that they're taking and the risks that their family is taking. But you know, bless them for doing it because, oh, you know, yeah. it's it's 
it is a weird, tough world, and I don't think any of us have a right to tell anybody else how they should feel about it. We just, we need to do we what's don't. best for that's, us. That's my whole thing. We yeah, don't have we to. We have to do what's best for us, and yeah. we have a right to Well, we have to do what the government about... tells us, but. That too. <laughs> we don't have a right to tell somebody how to feel about it, and that's, that's my whole point. Just gonna say. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say, is yeah. I don't have a right to tell you how to feel about it any more than you have a right to tell me how to feel about it, but I can feel a certain way about your actions and you exactly. can't tell me how I'm to feel about that. Yep. So, yeah. Even, um, even if I always say this and I say it to, if somebody approaches me on how I feel and how I react to them or to my children, um, you know what? You don't, you cannot tell me I don't have the right to feel this way. You might not yeah. agree with why I feel this way, but no matter why I feel this way, whether I'm sad, whether I'm mad, angry, these are still my feelings. And whether I have the right, whether I'm right or wrong, I still feel them. Yep. So. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, um, we're just deciding as a family how things are going to continue going and what what risks we're willing to take and which ones we're not. And... That's we're gonna do what we have to do. We have to. So just I wish people. Um, I people ask me if I'm still alive every once in a while because I'm not on social media as much, and and that's a personal choice of mine right now. Yeah. Um, well, I posted again the other day that I'm getting sick of seeing all the yeah. negative comments and the bitching and the moaning and the you're stupid if you do this and you're stupid if you don't do this. It's like, oh, I. That's your feelings. It. You have the right to it. feel it, but yeah, you don't. See, I don't, don't feel the negativity. Negativity. Yeah. yeah. So I, I gave a fair warning again the other day yeah. that uh, I may be doing some house cleaning. Oh, I just, I've I blocked. I've blocked um, multiple people this week. I've unfriended multiple others in the yeah. last couple weeks. I um, I blocked my sister. Um, so. Wow. Not anybody listening, not Nicole. Everybody knows oh, Nicole is okay. my sister. I have multiple. I am <laughs> one of six. I I'm like, oh my No, God. I am one of six children. So. Okay. Not Nicole. I was going to have to get the scoop between you and Nicole. No, 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 no. Not Nicole. Like, a, a different now. one. So. <laughs> no, just done with it. And, yeah. Uh, and that, you know, that was just a lot of why we kind of needed an escape last weekend. Yeah. And. It, that was a calculated risk. I knew it was a place that we could go that probably hadn't had people in it. It's a place that I love to go. It makes me happy. And I could help them out a little bit. You know, I mean, they they yeah. bought that as a business. They bought that to run it as an event center. And they had, they've had so many weddings and events that have had to cancel because of all of this. That's got to be hitting them, too. So I thought, you know what, this is kind of a win for everybody. And since they know me and they know me really well, it was something that they were willing to do. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it was fun. And it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Even if there was absolutely nothing that happened while we were there, it is just an absolutely gorgeous mansion. Oh. But we did have stuff. I mean, from the time that we got there, we were hearing – doors opening and closing and voices and um humming and just little things here and there um it was so cool that's that sounds good yeah. Um, yeah do you know when your next public or is your state not yours is just starting to right like i'm in the same boat like like i'm starting to worry worry and wonder about june like is gettysfield gonna happen uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, Gettysburg is July, I think. Isn't I thought it? it was the end of June. I do this. Um, Whether I say July, somebody else says it's June. If I say it's June, somebody... It's somewhere between June and July. <laughs> yeah. So, our next thing, and I'm trying to remember if she's rescheduled it or not, but our next thing would have been the solstice event at Cambry. But for some reason, I'm thinking... I've heard that she rescheduled that too, but now I can't. I don't remember. I can't um, either now. When when was it for? Um, it would have been 
June 20th, 21st. Yeah, I don't know if I've heard anything about that one. Something like that. Mm. Um, which then makes our next event, the Cedar Rapids Psychic and Paranormal Expo, which is supposed to be July 18th and 19th. So we're watching. Yeah. And talking and debating and Just, we think. don't know what. Right. Yeah. I we're have- going to wait a while longer. I mean, we've still got a little bit of time. We're kind of, I mean, we're already past a certain point that if we cancel, we're now we're going to lose a certain amount of money. If we cancel 30 days from now, we're going to lose probably the same amount of money. So well, if it's state of emergency, can they, are you guys um, in a state, are you guys legally in a state of emergency? See, our state, our state is opening back up. So it's yeah, but we are, what- we, ours are, ours is going to be flexing over the next month, but legally we're still in a state of emergency. Yeah, I don't. It, I think it's going to depend on if they've opened it back up to social gatherings at that yeah, point. And, and I know that we're still restricted on social gatherings. So, um, we uh, yeah, I and third, we've worked with them for years. So I would guess if it's something that the state's yeah. saying we can't do it, then then they'll work with us. Yeah. Um, which ideally we would try to just postpone it, like we did the Dubuque Expo, but. Already we are having events piling up on top of each other that everybody's trying to move things out to the fall. Um, you know, we've got we've got three things scheduled all for the same weekend. So right now we have to decide between uh, Hauntacon or Haunted Road Media or another event in Kentucky that we were supposed to go to. Um, so it's Mom, like... Um, Mama Pat yeah. said she... Mama Pat said she thought she just posted that it was still on as planned. I can't remember. Yeah, for I, sure. That's um, we'll have to watch to see if Rebecca and I. I can't remember. Yeah, Rebecca, where the hell are you? I know, right? Um, I want to say I saw something that she was asking about postponing it, yeah. but I haven't heard for sure. That was your that was your vibrator that time. Yeah, that was mine. I had it sitting on my computer because I was oh, looking at my I computer. forgot that, that conversation wasn't live on <laughs> air when we did. Um Darren no, that, said that was my vibrator. I heard they might ki- keep kids out of school through the fall. John says and mass the kids are out till the fall. There's a yeah, big difference our, between through the fall and to the fall. Um, I have heard kids are out for the rest of the, our kids are out for the rest of this school year. And I have heard rumor that they may not start in August like they normally do. Our governor, who I have to say publicly, um, I think is doing an amazing job. Um, and I don't talk politics, but I think he's handling this pretty good, is saying they're hoping to go back in the fall. It might not look like what. It normally looks like it might not go as it normally does, but they're hoping. So we'll see. Yeah. Yep. So uh, right now we're just kind of playing things by ear, but yeah. So, um, do you know why I always thought that saying was play it by ear up until like last year? It's music. Play it by ear. My daughter's the one who corrected me one day. You're right. You said it right. But I always thought it was let's play it by ear. Oh, it's just like, well, see with the mass accent on there, I can see that they'll play it by year. Yeah. So I always, <laughs> I always thought, um, yeah, I don't know. We're, we're just seeing what happens, keeping an eye on things, but yeah, Gettysburg is supposed to be the end of July. Um, all right, so, all right. See, no matter, I always fuck that up. There's my first F bomb. You guys can start clapping now. Um, so it's so it's the end of July. Uh, July twenty fourth, fifth, and sixth. Yeah. Oh shit! I so I have the end of July, an eight hour, nine hour trip, and then August, I'm supposed to be going to Hinsdale, and also in August I'm supposed to be going to um, Parsons Field, which isn't that far, but after doing those two trips. Yeah. We'll see it. So. Assuming nothing else gets canceled, we have the Cedar Rapids Psychic and Paranormal Expo on July 18th and 19th, and then the Gettys Battle for Battlefield Bash on the 24th, 5th, and 6th. The Kansas City Paracon would be August 1st. The Dubuque Expo is now um, August 8th and 9th. Uh, I'm going on a trip with Mom on the 15th and 16th. 
There is an event in Alton on the 22nd and 23rd. The, uh, we're supposed to be going up back up to Mackinac Island at the end of August before the Michigan Paracon on the 29th and 30th. And then a uh, trip to Shaler on the first weekend of September. Silicon the second weekend of September. <laughs> We're supposed to be going to Disney World the third week of September. I'm not sure that's happening. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> between between money, because yeah. I take a pay cut because of all this. Oh, yeah. Um, here's yeah, dirty laundry for everybody to hear. I don't care. I forget we were on air. Um, so thank. Uh, let me start this out with saying that I am grateful I still have a job. And that it's a good job. But instead of laying people off, what they did is they gave everybody a temporary salary cut. So I'm still working all my hours. I'm just working for less. Individually, it sucks for people. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. But yeah, but, but I have my job. And so, so, does it, so don't a lot of other people. Yes. And it's going to let somebody else keep their job, too. So, yeah, But it, personally, I get it. It still sucks. But personally, it makes that really expensive trip to Florida make me back up a little bit and go, oh, man. Yeah. Between that and the Rona, do I really want to go to Florida right yeah. now? Ugh. I don't know. I get Yeah. It. So if things start up in July, we will be busy through mid-October, for yeah. sure. I am have... The summer, I have a, I have, the, uh, I don't even know. Everything's getting postponed. I think I'm gonna have to pick. Yep. I think I'm gonna have to pick through some things, which for me, you know, I usually OCD. I plan very carefully, and this is the most I've had planned all for one year, and now I see why. All I know is this shit better clear up by the end of October because I am supposed to be spending Halloween in the Stanley Hotel, and I will be there. <sighs> you so, bitch. Uh, that was my Christmas present. Ugh. All right. On a serious note, two things. Number one, if you guys have any questions in tra- chat, drop them now because we have about 10 minutes left of the show. Um, second of all, tomorrow, right? Yeah. Today's Friday. Thank you. Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, tomorrow, I will be on Paranormal Encounters YouTube um, for the 24-hour um charity event it go, all proceeds go to suicide prevention um i will be on at 2 p.m eastern time and like i said you can find it right on youtube but there's tons of great people on there so if you can't make it for 2 p.m check out the rest and i'll only be on for 45 minutes 50 minutes an hour at the most um which I don't like talking about myself much, which is why I host the show. And every time we do this, I talk more about Kelly than I do me. Which is why I try to turn it back on her. But yeah. She doesn't let me do that very much. Yeah. Not without spankings. Ooh, promises, promises. Yeah. Well, Gettysburg's right around the corner, baby. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't you tease. Yeah, I know, right? We're going to get in so much trouble. Um, yeah. But yeah. so that's, uh, I'll be on that tomorrow and then. Finally, Tuesday, I will be on the freaking awesome show with Ryan um, that's Facebook Live um, on the Vibes Network and on, I believe, Blog Talk Radio. Just look on Paranormal Buzz Radio, Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, or my page if we're friends, and you can get all that information. And I have one more coming up in a week and a half after that. Um Storming the Unknown, so busy month. Yeah. And I am, I'm going to have to wear real clothes, people, because they're videos. <laughs> I know. Like, that's the I'm first thing, when I invite you just... on, when I invite you on as a guest, the first thing you know, it's a pajama party. Like, no makeup, <laughs> n- no bra, like, here we are, this is, you know, you can't see it, but. This is me, this take is it me. or leave it. No makeup, no hair in a bun. So, thanks, Ma. Um, let me see if there's any final questions. And pretty soon here, we're going to get back to interviewing some people besides yourself. But we just want to bring you something different. And I don't know. I keep saying I do it for people like 
give people a break. I'm actually, I also, I'm doing this for myself to give myself a break. Just, you know, me and Kelly talking, no pressure, no nothing. And hey, we didn't get in any trouble today yet. Oh, that's boring. We still have like 10 minutes left, so we could. Oh, we have plenty of time then. What shall we get in trouble about? I know. Uh, yeah, bro. No. <laughs> this does not go on YouTube. <laughs> no, no, this does not go on YouTube. That's what I'm saying. But even if it was, you can't see. You can only see from my neck up. But good try, J. Ron. <laughs> good try. Yeah. Uh, Darren, you'll have. Da Darren wants me to send him the link later. Darren, I love you. But you will have to remind me later to send you the link later because. I forget to do my own shit. I forget to promote myself. I forget to talk about myself. I'm so busy doing other things for other people. And I love it. I'm not complaining. But I do forget. So if if you don't get it, um, it's on my wall. Darren. It doesn't mean we don't love you. It just means our memory sucks. Yes. It, it has nothing to do with you. It just, when, like, memory-wise, I know, uh, I know, Next Tuesday, I have to share something about this person. I have to share this link, this, you know. But I just, I forget to do my own stuff. Mm-hmm. Forgot mm -hmm. why, exactly. Matt says. I forget everything. Thank you, Matt. I gotcha. Thank you, Darren, for understanding. He knows. Darren gets me. Oh, yeah. He knows. I tell people that all the time because I'll have people reach out to me for, like, the expo or for this or that or the other thing. And I'm like, yes, I'll, re I'll do that when I get home. I said, however... Don't hesitate yeah. to reach out and remind me. If I don't, I swear to God, I won't be offended. You won't be pestering me. If I don't do it, it means I forgot. And that happens. So please, <laughs> please reach back out to me. Darren, you're a smart ass. You know that? I said, I, I, I am saying nothing because I'm telling you while we were getting ready for the show, there was a whole lot of vibrating going on. I know because he heard me make the comment about that was your vibrator. So he's making jokes. But if your phone's on vibrate, it makes that sound. Uh huh. Uh huh. I think that's what he's. I hope that's what he's talking sure about. Sure it is. Uh -huh. I haven't been on video in God knows how long. So can't be talking about me. Yeah. Video is hard. Does no does that's what, nobody that, any favors. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. So you guys have any last questions? Get them in now. Most of these guys already asked all their questions to us. Um, I know they know us so well. They do. You poor poor suckers. <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> hey, I might. You want me to do shout out tonight? I might actually be be able to. If you want to, you can. Yeah, because it's not a, it's only, it's, it's not as big as normal. So that's also that's what, what she, she said. said. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I Matt. Love you, Faye. Can I just say how much I love you? <laughs> oh, oh God. We are like two peas in a pod. We really are. <laughs> and a lot of people wouldn't know that if they got to know you separately than me separately because we come across differently until you really get to know us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Behind the scenes, we're just one big person. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, this year when we get we, we get to Gettysfield, we're going to make that fourth state. We might need an Uber. Uh, yeah, that's going to be one hell of an expensive Uber because, whew. Uh, Oof. I'll start, we'll figure it out. We'll start saving now. <laughs> um, so. Oh, yeah. Darren. Darren was my chat person last week. And uh, he's saying, following her chat and giving her questions last week was crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's oh, not yeah. as easy as people think. Well, yeah, especially if you like you're trying to answer a question or something and then trying to keep up with the chat and or listen to the guest. Yeah. And you don't want to be completely rude. And you're like, I have asked you a question. Now I'm going to completely zone out and ignore you while I read chat and figure out what I need to do next. You yeah, know, I, I. Yeah. So it's not as easy. That's why last week I just said, Darren, I need help. Just help me in chat. And he did. He's so Darren is yeah. officially going to be the chat person when we need help so you and mama pat are usually my keepers 
Yeah. I don't know yeah. how that happened. Uh, because Mama Pat had no choice. She was, she was oh, born into it. Oh, because the cleavage in the car, you liked the way it looked, so you gave me the job. Yes, that was it. You won me over with your boobies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for putting up with our shenanigans, Nick. Oh, yeah. See, you make me be this bad. They think I'm sweet and innocent, and then I get on the show with you, and I get all sorts of naughty and inappropriate. And That's why you like me. You talk about spanking and drinking and boobies and... Miss, Jeez. Oh, if anybody's wondering, go back and listen to, what was it? Booze, boobs, and borders? Borders, boobs, and... What was it? Booze, boobs... No, you wouldn't let me do state boobs. It was booze, booze. In booze. state lines? Booze. In state lines. Yeah. Booze, booze, and state line, I think. Because yeah. you wouldn't let me do boobs, which was what I thought was the best. Hey. I know. There was a whole lot of boobs in my backseat. This is what I know. Yes, there was. Not uh, that the front was lacking with me and Mama Pat up there, but, you know. Yeah, but I almost died. <laughs> uh, that's because the backseat was spring-loaded. <laughs> It was. And that door, when she ever pulled that handle, boom, there goes there goes my ass. Out the door it went. Oh, that was the best. It was, it was fun, though. Uh, I, you know, I was perfectly fine. You did look perfectly fine. Oh, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. we were good. We were. Sitting we were. We make it sound worse, then. We do make it, it sound good. worse, yeah. It was all good. We lived. We did. Almost. You pulling that U-turn in the middle of the freeway was a little. <laughs> yes, it, it turns. I was fine. Everybody lived. Shush. Oh, that's when I thought I was going to die. I thought it, if that door wasn't shut tight, I would have been. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm exaggerating, people. Don't worry. I just. You guys know me by now. All right, let's see. Hello. We have Darren. Thank you, Darren. We have J-Ron. Um, we have, of course, Matt. We have Nick and Sue. Thank you, guys. Poor Nick. The one show he pops into in a while. And this is what he gets. But he stays. It's he's out of trooper. control. I love Nick and Sue, too. I love everybody in chat tonight, but I don't get to say that to them much. They're not. Usually Fridays are their margarita nights. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I want in on Margarita Night. Right? Nick and Sue, you gotta let us know when the world opens back up and we'll all come join you. Yeah. Um I think I said Matt, I said Jaymon. I know Mama Deb's in there, Mama Pat's in there. And um There's this crazy Shay lady in there. Some crazy Shay. John's in there. And I think I said everybody else at the bottom, but did you say Mama Pat already? I think so. I hope so. Stephanie. I had Stephanie. I said her earlier, but I want to make sure. Scrolling back through. Yeah, me too. Hard so to I this is why I don't do the last shout outs because I'm not good at it. Oh, and Chris. He's quiet, but he was there. I don't know if he's still there, but he's Christopher? Quiet. Christopher. Oh, I know. No, my Chris. No, my Chris. Oh. Oh, that Chris. Hi. Yes, of course, Chris. Mr. Nielsen. Mr. Nielsen. Mr. Moonspinner. Yeah, I don't know that that's going to fly. Yep, that looks like everybody. All right, Keeper of the Moonspinner. Yeah, that is a true story, and that is also a full-time job. Oh, see, yeah. they're still, Nick is still in chat, and he says he's still do. they are still doing the, mar see, I have a good memory, don't I, Nick? He's still doing the margarita nights on Fridays, so they're just doing them at home now. That sounds like an invite. Now we just need to know where he lives. Oh, <laughs> yes, the Vigilant Hose Company. That was the best. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the best. That was the perfect ending to that night was to come out after all of that and look up and see Vigilant Hose Company. Yes. <laughs> it has died in the middle of the street. <laughs> Chris uh, says Keeper of the Moon Spinner sounds better. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I love you, it's Chris. A, it's a lot of work. <laughs> I know. That's why I incorporated Chris into the group. Like, no, now it's official. Now he's part of, he's on me yeah. and Mama, Mama Pat's team because we can't keep up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the downside it. of it is, 
Mr. Muscle can physically uh, make me behave. It's not at all fun. He well, just picks me up and moves me where he wants me. Well, somebody has to. Jeez. <laughs> Man, my long yeah. distance groundings weren't working, so. <laughs> That's me trying to breathe. Uh, they're all laughing at us, but. That's all right. I think in a good way. I don't care. They're laughing. That's all that matters. <laughs> way back in the day, a pair of boobs on the TV was two dumb guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get that. Um, is this, are you on the show next Friday? Is that your dog? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is that? That is. Uh... this is a sober episode people (laughs) we're just gonna sit here with a silent let that go on in the background (laughs) want me kick her no she's just a puppy no you know I wouldn't I'm sorry don't oh my god (laughs) Don't, I was kidding, people. Oh, she's kidding. That dog is so goddamn spoiled. Yes. Like, crazy spoiled. Um, So, yes, I will still be on next Friday. Yeah. All right. I think you're stuck with me for a little while, at least. I'm not complaining. I just Unless wondering. I get lost somewhere. She's, she's, she's <sighs> whining, and she's trying to cover herself under the blanket, and... She, Darren said it doesn't sound good. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Mom she has anxiety. Says, if I don't pay attention to her, she gets. Oh, hi, Kim. Thanks for joining us. I didn't see Mama you Pat in there. I'm said, sorry. Mama Pat said she was the original keeper of the moon spinner. She's been at it for the long haul. Oh, that yeah. She has, That's why she needed that help. She has. That's yeah. It. Yeah. Because it gets to be more and more work as we go. What is my doing? Can I ask? What? Right now? What was she doing that I don't, I can't hear with the headphones. You couldn't hear it? No. Oh, it it sounded like she was scratching or something because all we could hear was this. Yeah, she was. I think she was scratching. (laughs) But with my, Uh, with my earbuds, I have really good earbuds. Like somebody walks in the room, they could be talking behind me and you could hear them and I can't. Oh my God. (laughs) He probably is going to hate me. I don't care. <laughs> Earlier today, Chris had, had been doing something, and he was gone for a little bit. And I got up to go potty, and he was in the bedroom laying on the bed watching a video or something on his phone. I couldn't see that he had his earphones in, so I bent over to say something to him, and he didn't hear or see me come in the room. Things flew. It was the best. <laughs> He's oh. like, oh, my God. <laughs> it happens to me all the time. I can't hear anything with these things in. Like, I was pre-recording a show. I think it was Rebecca. I'm not even sure. Um, or Amanda Woomer. One of them. And my son was playing a video game in the other room. And I guess he started yelling. And they're like, wait a minute. Who's yelling? And I'm like, what? And I had to take my headphones. I was like, I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah his are pretty good noise-canceling ones, too. So yeah. he just didn't hear me come in. But it was pretty damn funny. Yeah. So... um. J. Ron, cheers, Shat, and nameless woman. Now you're nameless woman. <gasps> Owie. Owie. It's okay. You can call her Kelly. It's okay, J. Ron. She, she lets certain people call her Kelly. <laughs> I answer to most anything. I, yeah. Let me tell you, when we were out, I, never mind. <laughs> I think that's just because she loves me and I got away with it, but. You get away with a lot. Yes. All right. And it is I I get away with a lot because I do a lot. This is a true story. Yes. I don't Ditto. Care. I mean, I know I get away away with a lot. I don't know if it's because I do a lot, but I do get away with a lot with you. Well, I meant like the more you do, the more you, it seems like you get away with. That's just because like the other half is already gone, so it seems like you get away with a lot. But I agree <laughs> with you too. Yes, this is Kelly J. Ron. Did you not? Did you really not know her name? 
but, but I'm Kelly. Nice to meet you. People call me Moon Spinner. Oh, um, he's kind of new, and you were off for a few yeah. weeks. Yeah. Kelly's my co-host, in case you didn't know. Um, we just work around the busy schedule. Yeah. So. it's I, I warned her when she asked me to co-host that... Uh, and I don't mind at all. I'm I not complaining. I beat her as much as I could. Yes. <laughs> yep. So... I just thought he was kidding when he said nameless, but I'm not sure if he was kidding or not now. Yeah, it's possible. But he's new to the network, so. You know, to be fair, a lot of people do call me Moonspinner most of the time, so. That could be. Yeah. That could be be it. All right. Anything else? You have anything else to add? Not for me. No, I think we're out. I think we're good. I think we're good. I just wanted to come on and talk to everybody and catch up with people in chat for a little bit. And I appreciate you guys all listening. And I was getting ready to paint and I took down all my notes. So I can't do my normal um, thing that I've been doing. But anyways, all right, guys, we will see you next Friday. We will be live next Friday, both of us. Um, So... Join us here. A show of us being dead would be kind of fun, though. Like zombie paranormal, Shay's paranormal. Us being dead would be fun. Is that what you as, just said? Us is a zombie show. We should do a zombie show. What do you mean zombie show? Wait. I don't know. It would just. Good night, it would just be zombified. Oh wait, that's most of my time. Never mind. I was gonna say that's me all the time. Yeah. 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 That's me most of the time. So now that I think about it, it probably wouldn't be all that different, would it? No. But we can work on it. We can work on it. Alright, sounds like fine. Alright, good night everybody. See you next week. Stay safe. Please stay safe.